I'm the executive director for Ascending the Giants. We're a small nonprofit that uh, measures and uh, documents the world's largest trees. We're going to met to, to verify tomorrow is going to be the, the world's biggest ponderosa pine. Today you may be seeing us installing the lines, shooting a small bean bag over the tree with a tool called the Big Shot. Hopefully on one or two shots we'll get it placed. All clear. All clear. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Go ahead. Just a real basic. We use non-invasive climbing techniques. So like if you're envisioning the, the olden days of the logger with the spikes on, on their boots hiking up the tree, you won't be seeing that. We'll ascend the rope without touching the tree so much. The reason why we'll be uh, you know, ascending on the rope instead of the tree is, is to adhere to our leave no trace philosophy. We don't want to harm any of the lichen or, or, or moss colonies. A lot of these things take years upon years upon years to get established. And we're, you know, we're never certain until it's too late uh, when you've done something that's really negatively impacted uh, you know, a food web on that scale. Oh, what a beauty! <sighs> Epic! We will be Six, measuring the height five. of the tree. Give me a little resistance, okay? Uh, we'll be measuring the circumference of the base here. 29. Exactly. We will be measuring the, uh, the crown spread, which is a, the measurement of the entire foliar mass. In the case of this tree, if you can see at the base, there's this big scar, which was likely something that made it unmarketable at the time of harvest. More than likely, all the trees that were its cohorts went into the timber industry, and, and this tree you know, survived because of its defect. <laughs> I don't know if we could really tell from down here, but we could definitely tell from up there that this tree is big and it was appropriately named. <laughs> 